Well, sounds like you've done what you can, so. No, I mean, I want to make sure you, you know, it's working good for you. So. I don't know if I'll be able to. There's somebody. Hey, so whoever just logged on, type in the chat and let me know how this, hey, Evan, is the video looking okay? Or is it super choppy? Can you hear me? Let me know, I'm trying to troubleshoot this thing, man. There's always some lag. Huh? They like buffer some lag. So I'm waiting for somebody to let me know if they can actually hear me. Looks good? Okay, cool. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, Hector. Thank you for the help. This is Hector. He helped us out with the internet. How long are you going to be here for the three days? Yeah, I'll be here all three days. But... Oh, well, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, folks, let me uh, get this arranged right quick. People are saying thank you, Hector. <laughs> All right. Don't watch the screen for a second, folks. It's going to be jittery. Okay. All right. Thanks very much again. Okay, so we are at the DC Fountain Pen Super Show. Uh, let me switch the screen around. Hello, hello, people. Uh, there we go. There's a good uh, thumbnail for us. Uh, this is the lobby here at the uh, Fairview Park in DC. It's a really nice Marriott. I like this place quite a lot. We're gonna start out in the small ballroom right here. Then there's another ballroom down the hall here that we'll see here in a bit. Uh, sorry for the delay, I was running a little bit late. Uh, just trying to get the internet figured out here. So, first thing you walk in the door here, you are uh, right here by Conaleo Pinco. We've got Jason and Carol. He was missing. He was, oh yeah, he was out there talking. So let's see that. Uh, isn't you to get to the show from the parking garage? Uh, it's not too bad to get to the show from the parking garage. You just have to kind of walk a ways. Um, you'll go down a long hall and then past a bar and just kind of keep going. That's the deal. Um, so... <laughs> Oh, I did have a cap on. Good. Uh, there's Hugh, right there. Mike Madison, Noko Oy. You're the best. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Let me give a let me show the table a little bit. Let's see. Let's see. This, this is your preview for the San Francisco pin show. Yeah, yeah. How's this look? How's what? How's what look? Oh, you're gonna. Yeah, that's much more official. Oh, he's got a light, folks. He's got a light. That is high class. <laughs> So, good to see you too, man. <laughs> I've actually been in this small room all day. I had a table for a bit today, uh, selling some of my own stuff. So I actually haven't really seen the big ballroom. We'll see how that goes when I get in there. <laughs> this is the newest of the Conalea Penco pens. It's going to get a lot of light on them so you can actually see the... There we go. Thanks, Jason. There's the swirl for you. And what's this one called? Aeolani. It's the Aolani. There you go. Thanks very much, folks. What am I doing? I'm doing a live, uh, doing some live YouTube. Neat. This is YouTube. this is Franklin. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're in here now, so I'll probably be following you the whole time. <laughs> There's this table. Hey, well, thanks. Do you have a uh, an online store or a web page or anything that I can? I don't have a web page. No. Okay, so if you're coming to the show. Go right in this door here, and then come check out all this awesome ST DuPont action, including two pins that I uh, always kind of dream about. These two are amazing. Huge fan. You don't see too much ST DuPont and Mont Blanc like this around. Here's these out. Watches, always a good thing at a pin show. Cruise these guys. So much overla overlap in those communities. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. I have to go a little bit quickly through these because the show is going to close in a little bit, so I don't want to, I don't want to go too slow. But uh, then there's a big banner there that says Danny Trio, and here are trays of Danny Trios.
This is where you can find those. <laughs> and there is Fred Lee. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Let's see. We're here. All kinds of vintage in this small room. Oh, more watches and cool things here. Pardon? <laughs> we got the Heinz pen folks here. Right here. All kinds of tables. I've been staring at them all day, basically. Uh, my little table is this bare one. I took all my stuff and left in order to do this. So come in here and see them. Here are the goodies. They're made out of honeycombs? Oh, they have... Oh, neat. Yeah, look at those. Yeah, very cool. Some nice Mardi Gras swirl pins going on in there as well. Very cool. You need some Harry Potter pen sleeves. They've got you covered. Some Game of Thrones as well. Maybe some skulls, perhaps. Yeah. There you go. Can't, can't beat them. It's a classic tattoo combo. All we need is the fish and the bears. That's all we need. Scenario for their products. So they don't have one. Next to them is the Good Made Better folks. We've got Dan here talking about pen wells. Of course, if you know my channel, you've seen pen wells before. Check out this awesome one. Is this turquoise inside this? Uh... Yeah, it's a faux turquoise. It's a what? Faux turquoise. Faux turquoise? Very cool. This is foam blood work. Yeah, foam. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I've got stripes, burls. No, you know, you're fine. Ignore me, I'm not here. <laughs> hey, Scott. And then this cool little demonstration of them sticking on hard right here. I'll tell you, these uh, little micro suction pads are actually super useful. I had one. Uh, get kind of dirty when I was moving offices recently and I didn't want to stick to things so I washed it and uh, it immediately started working again well as soon as it was dry so uh, definitely worthwhile up here on this upper level we've got Jonathan Brooks he's got some pins left I haven't actually seen what Jonathan Brooks has because I've been you know sitting down all day oh, I already see some I want that's a problem uh, Back here we have the uh, uh, ink testing tables so many ink testing tables also, these inks look like they might have been refreshed. A lot of them look new. You don't see any like half-empty bottles, really. Uh, there aren't like inky labels, so uh, perhaps these are uh, newer pen or uh, newer inks. However, I will always warn you: uh, don't put your pen, don't dip your pen into that ink because you don't know who else was in there before you. So that is a public service announcement. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's see what we've got for Jonathan here. There are some very cool uh, arushis. We got a little bit of eggshell in here. There's some others. Go ahead. I'll I'll, just, I'll, I'll be going around here. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. All right, I'll go this way. I'll come back to Jonathan. Yeah, I do. Apparently. <laughs> so we also got uh, some Carolina blue if you're needing some of that. I also have some bare rods here in case you want to pick out your rod for your pen. I'm liking this red, white, and blue one here. It looks pretty good. Like my blog colors. Uh, opposite. Oh, hey. What's up, Tyler? I didn't even know you were up here, man. This is uh, Organic Studio stuff here with Tyler, Mr. Organic Studio himself. He's been probably uh, 10 yards from me all day. Haven't seen you. That's cool. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, and I didn't really look back here as much, I guess. You're on the other side of the pillar. <laughs> uh, we have additive pins over here as well. Hey, how's it going? Well, thanks. There you go. Oh. There's a vintage Schaefer's and such here up on the top level. we got additive down here. I'll have an additive to review probably at the end of the uh, show. So that'll be cool. We have some uh, nib units. And here we have these uh, awesome sort of like 3D printed guys. Super cool. Right there. Uh, then back in this corner, we've got Federalist pens <laughs> with Mark and Frank. No, it's actually not a glass pen. It's uh, it's acrylic. It's just super clear. So, here we go. 
Uh, Frank is posing with Frank. Uh, frankly Green is the, uh, the, the Robert Oster. That's, you, I think you nailed that, man. That was good. <laughs> frankly Green is the, uh, the color this year. Oh, I got the Frankly Blue back there as well. Yeah. Oh, you have the Frankly Scarlet too? Oh, look at this. He's got all his art lined up. <laughs> now we just need a, a Scarlet one with your Frankenstein head on there, and it's, uh, it's good. I yeah. recommend Craig Williams, uh, CW Customs online. Oh, yeah. I want any work done really good. Yeah, yeah. He I works for pens. <laughs> oh, does he? Nice. Nice. <laughs> Here's a wild Brian Chu. Hey, Brian. How's it going? Not bad. Not All right. Bad. Cool. Nice. Find, you find any pens? I got this guy. Oh, yeah. So what he's showing you is the pen that I, uh, I wanted. This is, uh, I know. This is, <laughs> Jesse Cole says hi. This is one of Ian Schoen's new pens. What's he calling it? The fountain pen. Fair enough. I think, yeah. Um, this is a really nice little pocket pen that when you number screw six. it on. Number six. Yep. Bach big, nib. big number six Bach nib. It's uh, tiny. Yep. Super tiny until you screw it onto post, and then it's a perfectly good size. There we go. It's a vanishing point for scale. Yeah. Takes a cartridge right now, although he has been talking about working on other filling systems, other nib units, and that sort of thing. And when you post it, perfectly good size. Full size pen. A little bit skinny, but awesome. yeah. very light, very well weighted. Yeah. So a nice light pen. Uh, and uh, he got number 42 there, which uh, I told Ian, I told Ian specifically to save number 42. And then this guy comes up. He's like, hey, look at this pen I just got. I'm like, oh, Ian, you're in trouble. So when we get to Ian in the other room, I will give him a hard time. Gently, because he's a sweet dude. <laughs> so it's always fun to meet people and ask them what they've got. So come here and check out uh, Federalist pens as well. Paper, leather, oh, is this uh, Giro logo stuff? Look at that, all right, cool. You just got one of those cases, didn't you, Brian? I did. Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah. Got Tomoe River, if you need pads of Tomoe River. And who doesn't? It's deflexible, which are actually some of the ones that I like a lot. Oh, he's got uh, demonstrating this here as well. It's actually full of pocket parallels which are for sale. <laughs> so uh, for those of you who don't know, Brian Chu here is the guy behind Red Dragon Pen Co. And he uh, makes pens. So these are all pocket parallels that are for sale. He makes the bodies, fits them on uh, parallel sections like this. And then you can use your parallels and also have it look cool instead of that goofy uh, body those things come with. So come see you, Brian. He's not got a table. He's wandering around. So uh, look for this guy. And uh, say, hey, I saw you in a video, and I want a pen. And he will, he will tell, totally sell you a pen. I totally will. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. <Yeah. laughs> and then here, something I have on my desk, and so does Audrey. There we go. <laughs> there we go. These are awesome glass pen holders. You can see here. All kinds of options. Metallics, swirls, transparents. 35 bucks each. Buy two, get a third, 20 bucks. These fit all kinds of pens. Yeah. Check those out. Do you have a website, man? Are you just selling at shows? Uh, yes, yeah. Where is it? There you go, penholdercentral.com. Definitely check that out. Tell them I said hi. Folks in the chat are saying they have they have some and they love them. Why? Thank you. You're welcome. And Boulay sells them as well. Oh, do they? Yes. Nice. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks, Brad. We'll see you. Let's see. Uh, will Brian be at the San Francisco? No, I don't think so. Um, you can uh, you can find him as Red Dragon Pen Company on um, or Red Dragon Pinco, I think probably on Instagram. It's pretty easy to find there. You can communicate with him there. Here are some pens that I. Hey, what's up? Uh, they were asking. Uh, they were asking if you would be at San Francisco. No, we said probably not, but contact you through uh, Instagram or something. Yeah. Or Slack, yeah. If you're on the Pinetic Slack, contact him there. Uh, these are some interesting pens. It's a brand new brand. Hi, this is Frank, and he is one of the guys behind Narwhal Pens. We had some dinner last night and chatted about pens and ink. These are they're all are they all piston fillers? Yeah, all piston fillers. As you can see here, oh, yeah. all piston fillers, self-made nib, and everything in house. Yeah, so they make every, they make everything in house, which is pretty darn cool. You don't see that too often. And uh, yeah, 36 bucks. So I'm gonna have to get one of these definitely. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's hey. up, Bryce? How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. This is uh, this is Bryce. What's up, guys? 
And uh, who do you work for, Bryce? Luxury Brands. Luxury Brands. And uh, what do you do at Luxury Brands? Uh, I am the National Sales Manager. Oh, and sorry. I also do some, uh, I do a lot of our marketing too. Right on. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll be going down to the Luxury Brands table here in just a minute. I'll be there. So, <laughs> you'll be there? I, yeah, I think so. We're going to go down there anyway. But. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesse Cole says, say hi to your mother for her. Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> hi, Jesse. I will. Uh, let's see if I can flip this back the other direction. Yeah, 36 bucks for a uh, fully in-house made uh, uh, piston filler. It's very yeah. cool. Very cool. Yeah, I was playing with these at the table last night. I like them. Oh, he's also got a Mandarin dual fold sitting right there. So that's, uh, yeah, yeah. No, that's, uh, no, I get you. That'd be a good thing to have in a collection. I love those. <laughs> over here on the other side, uh, this is Galen Leather over here. Uh, they're here from Turkey. They've brought uh, writing boxes, which I think are very cool. And I'm going to go check these out. Uh, he's got washi tape dispensers. They've got leather, uh, all kinds of leather accessories, like these notebook holders. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Pen holders, sleeves, little booklets. It's got these awesome four pin holders, three pin holders. I'm really liking these wood ones. I have to get at least one of these, maybe more. The boxes are very nice. Those are 25 bucks for this pen rest with a lid. That's really cool. I see myself coming home with a few with a few of those. It's a 40 pen zip case. 80 bucks for 40 pen zip case. Very nice. It's a little bit thick, but you're putting 40 pens in that thing. Here's all the stuff you can fit in the uh, the writing box right here. What do the writing boxes go for? Oh, what's the the price? The 100. Hundred dollars for the writing box. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Who, me? Oh, I am everywhere, yeah. <laughs> also, paper including these Timoe River notebooks, which are very inexpensive. Five bucks each. These are like 128 pages of Timoe River, which is pretty cool. Uh, 28 bucks for the three piece uh, notebook set. Comes with like a little zipper pouch. Uh, man, 35 for a note, note board with a rhodia pad? Man, I, oh man, I'm getting in trouble if I go over here. Audrey told me I needed to, and then I didn't believe her. But I do. So, over here in this corner, uh, Mario. ran into Frank, Mario again. There's Mario Campa, he is uh, having toys in the attic. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Mario is, as always, has this kind of nook here in the back. So, he's a little bit hard to get to, perhaps. But if you come up in this area, there are all kinds of things to find. I uh, will do. He's deep in conversation with uh, Frank right now. Hey, Jesse, what's up? So he's got everything up here from watches and pen cases to really ex exclusive uh, limited edition pens. And Turkish Delight, yeah. Did he have some Turkish Delight over there? I didn't actually see it. A lot of times I'm kind of looking and describing things and I don't see the things around them, so feel free to point stuff out. If you want limited editions and this kind of stuff. Are you just following me? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> Yeah, who's not? <laughs> pen rests, inks. If you, need a, if you need yourself a lighter or some uh, Parker Penman Sapphire, you could probably talk him into selling that as well. He's got notebooks over here now. He's got Rena. How you doing? <laughs> pen sleeves. Writing mats, which I want to get a, hand, uh, a hold of. I've actually got some of this Italian stationery stuff in a smaller size. I keep meaning to write notes to people, and I just haven't done it yet. Have I seen that? No, I haven't seen that. You want to tell us about it? This is our new grab and go. It's so it's all leather. It's RFID shielded. So any credit cards that you put in will be safe. You open it up. You have a four pen slot for your everyday carry. Open it up. You have places for business cards, for credit cards, for your whatever you want to put in, whether you want to change or not. The key fob turns. I hook mine with keys there. That. You can put a notepad in vertically, put a notepad in horizontally, you can put your cell phone in there, <laughs> and two different places to be able to put cash. And then you have a slot in the back and a slot in the front as well. So you can literally carry everything, grab it, and go. Very cool. What's the price point on those? $50. $50? Wow. 
That's a, that's a lot of pockets of things for 50 bucks. Nice. Yeah. Thanks for showing that to us, Raina. Appreciate it. My pleasure. It. All right. So, uh, oh, I promised I'd go back over to Jonathan's table. Uh, okay, we're going to do it. Let's see. This may have to be a two-parter. Maybe I'll have to do some tomorrow, too. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Hey. All right, so here's the stuff that we have over here at Jonathan's table. Yeah, he knew which one I was going to be interested in. Look at that thing. That's uh, it's 100% my style. I'm super into that. It's, uh, it's a, that's a big problem. I'm going to need you to go ahead and buy that one, if you would. No, that pin, yeah, so I don't have to? I just got one. Well, if you wanted to go ahead and get that one, too. I mean... Oh, what's the story with this koi fish here? So there's a, a pin blank maker up in Michigan who works with the CNC, and he he routes out the design and then double casts, and then just sells the rod stock of that. So it's... Um, so when you turn it down, you got a fish. Yeah, pretty much. Well, that's awesome. So that's the only thing yeah, that's guy. on the table that I didn't make the material. It's yeah. driving me insane. So somebody needs to go buy that. Because <laughs> it wasn't your material? Yes. Maybe you just need to uh, go ahead and start making koi fish blanks. Yes. Is, uh... <laughs> well, I mean, I do have the koi series. So... Yeah, yeah, but with a fish on it, though. Yeah, yeah you need the koi series with the fish. All right. Also, all right, so I need somebody to come and buy this one right here so that I don't have to. <laughs> um, <laughs> Because otherwise, I, otherwise, oh snap! Look at these sparkly ones right here. Yes, look at these. Oh man, this is very cool. It's all holographic bits. Thank you for not calling it glitter. It's not glitter. This is actually these are uh, they refer to these as flakies in nail polish. This is look. I have a wife who is a nail polish aficionado. You know this. That's the same uh, same style as. Yeah, no, I'm real, I'm real jealous of that one that she has. Yeah, yeah, I dig it. Oh, you've got one too. We got, oh, we got golden green in this one. Yeah, very cool. Thanks, Jonathan. Of course. Y'all enjoy your pen. You don't have to buy that one, but if you did, I would appreciate it. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see. We also have. Uh, you might need the Play-Doh one. Well, you, you can't have mine. So, uh, this has been my neighbor all day. This is Guy. No, I'm not. You'll have a different dude, but he's a good guy. Right, Tony will be sitting there. He's a good guy. Right, well, what company is Jonathan with? Oh, Jonathan is Carolina Pin Company. You can find them on the interwebs. Uh, he's got great stuff. And he makes almost all those blanks, except for that koi one. That's why he was saying that uh, uh, he can't stand it. That it's on his table and he didn't make it. So, guy here has all kinds of chocolates, including chocolate shots, in case you just want to uh, uh, put some liquid chocolate in your face. <laughs> You got some chocolate hazelnut spread down here. You got all kinds of fun chocolate stuff. I'll tell you, are these the uh, these are the coffee beans? So I had some of these coffee beans right here. And hey, Elizabeth Dowdy, welcome. Uh, and these are these are really good. I'm I'm a big fan of these actually. I'm not the biggest cho co uh, chocolate person, but I am a huge coffee lover. And uh, chocolate coffee beans, super good, man. He heard I like coffee, and he's like, oh, have these. I did. We got uh, chocolate covered dates. This is a morning blend. A morning blend of yeah. dates? Oh, yeah, because it's got 100% cacao nibs in the center. So, you know, it's like got that wake up flavor. Uh huh. Yeah. Fancy. That, no, that would wake you up 100%. Yep. Yep. There you go. Do you have a, an online store or do you just sell in person? Oh, we do on, Yeah, we do online. And uh, you're welcome to. Let me get a view of. Uh, there you go. Right here. Check them out. All right, check them out online. Thanks, man. I'll see you later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. And then my sort of backyard neighbor all day has been Yoshi. Hi. I'm uh, doing awesome. Hi. He's been back here with these beautiful pins. I know. It's just, just in time. It's gonna have to be a, probably a two-parter video. Let's see what time it is. I know, I know. Oh, look at these. 
sort of fire and foxes, some stars up there, some roll stop. No, those are gorgeous. If you haven't seen Yoshi's work, you got to check this out. You'll find him here at pin1811.com. You have to check these guys out. Handcrafted. These are done in multiple parts. Each one of these little flowers is cut out and then re-lacquered and then returned. Gorgeous. Gorgeous stuff. You got turtles. You got these. Oh man, this is amazing. 475 for this one is uh this is a crazy pen. I'm a super fan of these. And also, some on clearance. Good over here hit those clearances. We have Dan Simons here. Dan Simons is one of the guys behind everybody's uh, CNC uh, success. Uh, don't worry about me, it's fine. Uh, he's been my, my behind me neighbor, giving me, giving me flack all day. Yep, dropping the elbows here. Uh, I've known Dan for quite a while. He used to work with Franklin Kristoff before he retired, and then he just started making pins for fun. You'll see some of my pen rests are underneath here. <laughs> so, uh, all kinds of awesome acrylic pins he's been turning out, including uh, some uh, like multiple layered ones, overlays, this kind of thing. Definitely check out Dan Simmons. Uh, here is his here's his card for those of you keeping track at home. Drop him an email if you want to check out one of these cool pens. I'll, I'll see you, Dan. <laughs> and we have Garney & Co., of course. Other awesome leather goods in here, including probably the coolest pen rolls uh, in here. This like wraps all the way around. I love these like off-color uh, leathers they use. Very neat. Journal covers, pen rolls, pen cases, all kinds of things. Bags. He makes these stools. I've sat on them. They are glorious. Over here, luxury brands. There's Bryce being ridiculous again, of course, because that's what he does full time. <laughs> oh, I caught you. Yeah, yeah. This, this is seeing people, let me tell you, this is what happens at pin shows, you know? You get caught being ridiculous on camera. That's, that's what happens. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, nobody's in here watching, so nobody yeah, will see it. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's totally safe. Um, except for you and your viewers. Yeah, except for me and, and you know, the thousand or so people will probably see this in the next day or two. Everything right now is 100% off. So please come see Bryce. It was his idea. <laughs> Bryce had the wonderful 100% off uh, it's sale. Not. It's not? No. I'm hearing now that it's not. Those are false reports uh, by Hugh, who is a huge liar. Hugh is a Hugh. When he lies, I swear to it. <laughs> They've recently started distributing Colorverse in the U.S., which is very cool. Uh, if you haven't tried Colorverses, I've done a few reviews for them uh, on the blog, so check those out. Uh, I have probably a few more to do, but man, Colorverse has some cool stuff. they got really good sets. Of course, also Platinum and Waldman, which we saw in Chicago. Also, Bennu Pens. And actually, Banu has come out with um, a two new briolettes called the Eden and Storm. Um, they've come out with three new um, of the Supreme, a black opal, a green opal, and a blue opal, which is really cool. And they have an entire new line called the Tattoo Collection, which is really sweet, actually. And they have um, the Tattoo Collection. If you don't know, you should look it up. We're going to get some in. Here in like the next few weeks, they over the entire body of the pin, it has like pictures of classic tattoos like skulls, flames, snakes, roses, swallows, a bunch of stuff all over the pin. It's really cool. It's like their their dude pin, you know? Yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty dude pin, though. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah. Because they don't have a lot of dude pins, not a ton. They do have some. I got. Uh... And we got some skulls. Those are stereotypical. I would say like, like these three for sure. These three. Yeah. I could totally rock those. That's not, yeah. not a big deal. I was thinking uh, this uh, like green and bronze, like rose gold bronze thing over oh, here. Yeah. I'm into Mayfield, that. Mayfield, yeah. That totally. looks dope. Totally. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the tattoo line is pretty cool. Check those out if you're into uh, sort of classic tattoo art. Yeah, right. And uh, down here is Colorverse, including this Colorverse like set in a box. <laughs> The standard model, a bunch of tiny bottles. 
some extras over here. Here we have these two getting in trouble, I assume. No, no. Oh, yet. They're protesting the drinking has not started, and definitely, well, I, I can't imagine either of them um, imbibing. No, don't drink the Pinchot water, that stuff is... <laughs> well, this may look weird and totally delicious, uh, don't drink it. Hey, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse, no, no, Jesse, just tell my mom, oh, hey, mom, Jesse says hi. Jesse, I got my nails done, sister. She like she like y'all know she got her nails done. Also, also Anna did her nails. Yes, all things Bryce Audrey. did not do his nails. Yeah, but look, he's married. But I got married, so there's that. He did get married. Hey, where's your wife? She oh she's she's she upstairs. she left. Yes. Oh, you've got all the Galen. I was just at that table, and it's gonna be a problem tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Um, so say bye to those, and uh, I'm gonna run to the other room. <laughs> All right. All right. So the other room is this way, around the corner. We have Laban pens here, which are some really interesting pens from China. We've seen their stuff before uh, at other shows, of course. Uh, these look new and cool. I'm into that look. They're like these stripes. Yeah. Here at the end, on paper and such. Yeah, when I got the connection back, isn't okay now. Though. We got Davina, we got Lisa Vanis. Go ahead, no problem. Hey, no connection now. I'm hoping the connection is kind of back. Hey, Mandy. I don't know. I'm hoping my connection's still here. I don't know. It might have died. Hey, Eleanor. What are you live streaming? Yeah, trying to. I know. Did you check out the Paniter Mysteries? I haven't gotten over there. I left the small room and apparently I lost my connection. That is probably true, but yeah. I'm telling you, this is the pen. This is the pen of the show. It's not pen. It's the pen of the show. Um, nice, nice. Huh? Oh, we got uh, we got Roy. So yeah, this is we got here. Pinboy Roy. What's up? My pal. This guy right here. What have you been? Uh, what, have you, what have you been checking out? What's this big box you got in here? Oh, uh, I here? have here. A Visconti Homo sapien. Right? Visconti Homo sapien with eight. Sling belts. In person's name. I like Down Home Geek. That's a cool name, too. Yeah, it's dope. What's up, Down Home yeah. Geek? Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, come down, to, come down to North Carolina. I'll introduce you to Jesse Justice one of these days. He's a good dude. Jesse right. Justice. Like, is he related to hand you this? Oh. No, this? Video, oh, video. oh, you want this in the video? He wants to, he's trying to take it in. It's right. in the video. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is called the Monteverde N-Gage. I don't, rev I don't review... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, roller balls. Roller ball Paul does. Uh huh. You know, but I guess since it's on your video, you get to keep it. Oh snap! Yeah. I'll come back later. Yeah. I don't have any hands. Yeah, this is actually a roller ball that takes uh, fountain pen ink. That's right. Has to deal with this thing. It actually has a feed too, just like a fountain pen. I hear it works pretty well. I haven't it used works one yet. Really well. Yeah. You should ask him to. Uh, oh, it's it's totally blurry. Well, I'm gonna get into this ballroom, and then maybe it'll get a little bit better. Oh, so. you're you're paying for that. Yeah, I am. That's a safety hazard. If someone has a heart attack in the middle of that floor and no one can make a phone call, that guy's going to die and it's going to be Marriott's fault. <laughs> Pinboy Roy has harsh things to say about the terrible Wi-Fi. Okay, so this is the big ballroom, and I'm hoping that it's getting a little bit better. Uh, do let me know uh, if it's getting any better. You have to see the pin of the show. Oh, he's talking, she was talking about the Pinider, and she was saying that because she's, uh, she's buying one. Speaking of posing, we have some photos of the big ballroom. Mary and Hillary. Kinds of cool stuff on their table, including some of my favorite things from Wright and Diplomat and all that jazz. Work. That's good people. DC Pin Show is a disconnection pin show. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Still bad? Well, it's as good as it's gonna get, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yay for terrible internet. We've all been fighting this today. That's the face of somebody who's had to like stand up and make a face to try to get an internet signal. Yeah, it's real bad. And this is, I paid, uh, uh, did y'all buy the internet in here? So they didn't buy it. I paid 25 bucks for this terrible internet you're experiencing. Hector fixed it for me when I was in the other room. It should be fixed here too. I don't know what's going on. So what are you going to do? But, um, oh, let's get back and see some other stuff on this table here. Oh, also Opus 88. Look at this stuff here. Yes. 
So if you'd like some big uh, eyedropper pens, definitely check these guys out. Just for scale, I know I have giant mitts. This is a big pen, even for me, a bit. But very nice. See me in HD tomorrow? Yeah, fair enough. Or at least standard def. I don't know if it's high def. Also, oh, Magna Cartas, including some really serious bling here. Right there. Their exclusive Franklin Kristoff. What do y'all call that color? Ruby Navy, that one is. Also, Ecos. What are you trying to show me? Our new ink, uh, exclusive brush by Papier Plume. Hey, awesome. Spruce knob. It is a lovely dark teal. Yeah, very cool. Thanks. Very happy with that. Yeah, very nice. And also some other Papier Plume inks. Is Papier Plume here at the show? I don't know. I haven't seen, I haven't seen them either. I kind of don't think they came, which is too bad. I like Patrick, but awesome. Check that out. Yeah, I'll have to be back for some uh, from Spruce Knob. Yeah, awesome. See you guys later. Uh, then we have Ken Rowe here, and then we have also all manner of awesome vintage in this area here. Cliff always has some good stuff. There's Fountain Pen Day Carry. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll be coming back. They're busy with some customers. Hey, Sonny, how you doing, man? <laughs> There we go. Centini Italia. Some really beautiful pens. I don't really know anything about them. This is actually my first time in this room. Uh, over here. Uh, and also Nick at Nibs. He's grinding Nibs. He's selling Nibs. He already ground. I don't know. Maybe fixing some pens. I don't know what he's up to in here. He's doing all kinds of stuff. Yeah, he'll do all that stuff. We got Nick here. He's uh, drawing circles currently. That's what he gets paid for. The big bucks. Also to take my abuse. That's why he's, that's why he's shaking his head. <laughs> Uh, he's complaining because he uh, doesn't have any uh, uh, thing long enough to hit me with. I understand. <laughs> he's a company that used to be in Cora. Oh, oh that's um, Oh, he just had him. Let's be back. Uh, but Sunday, I'll catch him later. And Nathaniel, he's the pen.com. And he always shows up with just binders full of pens. Uh, vintage, modern. He was waving before, didn't catch it. But I agree with plenty pretty reasonably. Hey, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> oh, well, it's not going to work. I don't know. We'll see how it goes for that. Here we have Ryan doing well. Also, Sylvia down here. <laughs> down here. <laughs> Julia, Zoe in the back. The whole Crusack clan is here. Caspian's munching Doritos? I mean, somebody's got to, right? How do you like Doritos? You're bigger than he is. She bribed him with bubble gum and he still said no. I don't understand. He like. No way. He loves bubble gum so much he even denied me. To be fair, bubble gum and Doritos is a weird combination. You don't want to switch right from one to the other. That'd be pretty gross. <laughs> Ryan's always got cool stuff here on the table. Give you a slow pan. Hopefully, hopefully the internet will hold up a little bit for y'all. Sorry, folks. I do my best. Oh, I have a twin to this pen right here. It's a nice looking Ambuena Burrell. Salad choice. What flavor we have here? Oh, nacho cheese? All right, that'll work. That'll work. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see, we have some other stuff here that seems to have, people haven't gotten here yet or they've closed up a bit early. We have all kinds of uh, lady shapers and that sort of thing we saw later. <laughs> Iowa wasp, that's funny. It's a pin reference. Shapers went by wasp for a little bit. It's kind of a sub-brand as far as I can tell. There are all manner of shapers and Bexleys. Vintage pins galore. Over here. This is the Drum Ghouls Corner. Every time I see somebody walking around with a Drum Ghouls bag, I know they've gotten in some trouble. Because, man, they've got really crazy pens over here. They're like, look at this for a pen display. The Visconti Machina. Kind of awesome. Got some ST DuPont as well. These seem to be a bit more of a comeback recently. Pardon? Yeah. Um, 
you know, some pilots going on. The, one of the Monte Grappa uh, Apollo 2 pens, or sorry, Apollo 11, goodness. <laughs> Sometimes I say things without thinking about them very well. Or this way, everything. Oh, this is a Diplomat Volute. You don't see too many of those around. All kinds of cool of these. That's Marushi Samake. Y'all are fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't see too many of those around. I was just one in your pocket. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is Michael. He's making fun of me a little bit. <laughs> so there's things on the top rack here. And if you want to have a giant pen, but you're not sure that you want it to be painted on, uh, you got these. <laughs> these are Pilot Customer Rushis. They're massive. You can also get a rickshaw sleeve. Look, if you're not going to buy one from me, at least get one with a Texas flag, right? That's fine. These are pretty dope. And these guys are just works of art here. Yeah, they are, Diana. Yeah, they are. How's the video now that I'm back in the, the back of the room? Is it like any better at all or is it still crap? <laughs> got Larry hiding back here, trying to get out of the way of the video, I see. <laughs> ink sample book, if you wanna find some inks. There's also a nice wall of ink here. Still kind of fuzzy? Yeah, sorry about that. I've done my best with the internet issues. They are not good. It's real bad, yeah. Yeah. And then over here, Michael has put away his pins at the end of the day. It's cool. We'll catch him tomorrow, probably. Yeah. Fountain Pen Hospital has, of course, gone home. They always go home early. And uh, down here in the middle, uh, well, let's just take a quick cruise. We've got some jewelry here on the right hand side, we've got some nice vintage on the left. Charm City pins here on the right. More vintage. Ephemera, 25% off on every item here. Some people who haven't shown up yet. A lot more people will be here tomorrow, of course. Tomorrow is the big day of the, the pin show. Here's, here are Sarge's tables. Sarge Minhas, the one-man pin show. Just brings out these binders, and boom, there's a pin show. That's what he's known for. Yeah, it is pretty massive, Diana. It's, I mean, it's, the, it's a big pin show. Here are the things under glass. And if they're under glass at Sarge's table, you know they're good. Also, check out these. Rod and Pelican. Mm-hmm. A little bit, yeah, doing a little bit. <laughs> We're about to shut up shop. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's quick. Lots know. of pens left. A few left? Well, not okay. many. Oh, it's it's actually after five, so <laughs> the show is officially closed. By the way, Sarge said he still has a few pens left. You'd like to get rid of? <laughs> um, let's see. This way. Please give Brooks a raspberry. Hey, Mike. What's up, man? Here's on another one-man pin show. Check these out. Oh, it's uh, it's it's beer thirty. Yep. Good. <laughs> Tradition at the end of the day. I'll try to do a video tomorrow that I can then edit and such, so that we can uh, get a better look at this without it being all smeary. But uh, I will. Uh, I'm, again, I apologize for that stuff. Here we have pencil sharpeners. Well, that means that we must be getting uh, up to the table of uh, the Grand Poobah himself here of the Ban Grand Black Pin Society, Paul Areno. How's it going, Paul? Good, Michael. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. I mean, Trying to do a little video. Who are we talking to? Uh, I don't know, like a bunch of YouTube people. Hi, YouTube people. Just giving you a view of some of these pins here. Going down in this direction. Do they know about the society? Uh, they know a little bit about the society, I imagine. Had I known that you were coming by, I would have worn the hat. Ah. Well, we'll have to get a picture of the hat later. Tonight. Yeah, it's yeah. at 9. Okay. And if you guys want to tune in, 9 o'clock is the annual Black Pen Society meeting. 
Uh, to be a member of the Black Pin Society, uh, you must do uh, two things. One is, uh, what's that? One thing? Oh. Oh, you gotta do two things. You gotta like. Oh, you gotta like black pins. You gotta give Paul five dollars and uh, get a pin. That's uh, those are the two things. <laughs> also, I need to go to those pins. I'll bring you five bucks. <laughs> so, um, here we have Visconti, Coles of London. They also have just started doing St. Dupont. Hey, two absolutely gorgeous pins. Some of the best slip cap pins you'll find around. Yes, pin, not pen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Thank you. Tell Paul hi from Craig and Skyline. I'll uh, I'll try to remember. Sorry, I miss a lot of the chat when I'm doing live streams. Just kind of the nature of the the live stream chat, unfortunately. This is uh, uh, Monomoy vintage pen. There, all kinds of cool. Oh wait, I don't know if we're live or not. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> This is JB himself doing some pen repair. Uh, we've got Chatterley Luxuries over here. Kimberly's been helping out Brian over here at Chatterley Luxuries. Uh, down this corridor, ephemera and art on this side. The other side is closed up. Uh, Stylo Art here? I don't believe so. They've been here once or twice, but I haven't seen them in a couple of years, I don't think. Uh, Here's Ian Schoen showing you a fountain pen. We were looking at Brian's earlier on. Uh, the number 42 that you sold to Brian Chu directly after we had the discussion about, hey, I would like number 42. Oh, no, Definitely really save that to me. Yeah, he brought it over. He's like, hey, look at this awesome pen I got. It's number 42. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to give it to Ian. I burned you. And he did. I burned you. And now I'm going to lit up on the internet. That's it. No, lit up. Well, it. look, the, uh, the reception is terrible. They probably can't tell. The reception for the pens or the reception of the pens? Yeah. <laughs> the reception so. of the pens has been terrible. Has it? No, that's too bad. No, the reception uh, in here is terrible. Yeah, yeah. No, it's been great today. It's fun. You know, I've, I've double-crossed at least two or three of my friends, so you're not the first, you know. I really just put people to the sword all day today. That's good. That's Number good. 42, you know, I saw it. I said, you need to have this. It's like, get this off my I table. I'll give you a discount. And I said, you go bring this. Yeah, you bring this right over to Mike. Yeah, so these are all surprise anodized. Uh, it turns out they needed to be anodized. That is correct. And uh, they came out looking real cool. Grab one of those orange ones. What are you doing here? You know whose channel you're on. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Orange and gold. What do we have down there? A little persimmon? This is a ghost nib, so it's so fine. You can't even see it. Can't, yeah. Yeah, these are, uh, these are looking awesome. Just very cool. Very cool anodizations on these. And you can get solid colors if you want to not... Um, scare your office mates, but uh, gorgeous. With the, yeah. the slightly blood spattered? It's like uh, red, white, and blue, but also uh, a little bit horrifying. It's, uh, this it's, that summer, it's that summer slushy vibe, you know, it's that blue yeah, slushy, melted, red melted, slushy, melted, yeah. Slushy. Yep, yep. Yep. Oh yeah, I was going to ask you to pick one of those. Uh, look at that. Very cool. These are all brand new. This is the first time that most of us have seen these. He had them on Instagram a little bit, but uh, yeah, there's the red and black. I didn't want to show anyone the colors until like a day before the show. He says he was up all night last night putting these things together, and I believe him. It's it was, yeah, very cool. It was intense. It's good though. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to have found pens. People, you know, are giving me really good feedback. I'm excited to make, you know, whatever I'm going to make next. So, price know, point? Price point is hundred and eight dollars. One oh eight. One oh eight. Yep. Hundred and eight bucks. That is a totally good price, I think. That's, that's a steal. Yeah. That's yeah. a steal. Uh, that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the face Anna makes and she wants you to know she's been funny. No, not that one. <laughs> See you again. <laughs> Here. I am not familiar with Pippi's Pen Shop, but man, this looks like a bunch, of, a bunch of crazy stuff. I hear the video is doing a lot better now, so that's good. I'm glad it finally recovered. It's crazy. All kinds of fountain pens under glass here. Fountain pen sticking out of a chicken, or a ballpoint pen sticking out of a chicken. Black wing pens, really cool. Uh, oh, this is Peg and All. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, really cool pen holder wraps. Oh, we got Baron Figs in here. Look at this guy. All right, all kinds of cool stuff. This uh, this is like one table. Very neat. Very neat. Yeah. Yeah. I buy fountain pens. Let's see. 
Uh, this is Steven. He does, here's the card right there. Check him out on the interwebs. He does all kinds of cool pens. He buys old fountain pens. Also runs the, uh, uh, the auction at the Chicago Pen Show. It was a hoot. Oh, you think I should come over here? All right, I will, fine. We got uh, fantasy snorkels. Fantasy snorkels? Is that what these are here? That's what these are. Yes, they are. Ah, oh. uh, very cool. Someone saw your YouTube video. Yeah. Called me and told me what pen they wanted. I had on the rack, and they said I want the one on the left, turquoise with the silver trim, and called me and bought it. Awesome. Uh, yes. So thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> See, guys, I tell y'all. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, <laughs> I forgot how this worked. Uh. There we go. See, folks, I tell y'all, you got to let people know when you find stuff from the videos because it helps people know where you're coming from. That was a very good video. I yeah. appreciate it. So Thanks, man. Thank I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, where's my cut? Oh, I don't get a cut. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. I want these guys to, to benefit and to do well at pin shows and keep making rad stuff. Like these awesome banks made from post office doors that remind me of my, uh, like, this is exactly what I had in college, this door. Like, letters and everything. Exactly the same thing. So tell me about these fantasy snorkels. What's the uh, what's the deal here? The, these are uh, original 1950, 1959 snorkel components, made with new acrylic bodies. Okay, and operate exactly like a, an original snorkel. Twist it, snorkel comes out. Pull out the plunger. Fill it. Put it back again. They stop, Schaefer stopped making these in 1959. So I'm restoring them, reconditioning them, reconditioning the nibs, and making them into a new pen with vintage parts. Right on. What's your price point on these, John? They run from 235 to 295. Okay. Depending on the silver nib or up to the two-tone gold, you know, wraparound triumph. Right on. So very well priced. Yeah. Well balanced. Check nice these colors. out. Where's your uh, Where's your card so I can show people? There it is. I'm saying from it. Check these out. Fantasysnorkel.com. There you go. All right. Thanks very much, John. We'll see you around, man. Here's some more ephemera. Josh Lax wandering around. <laughs> oh, Newton pens. They were here. They must have left, unfortunately. I'm sure they'll be back tomorrow. The show is technically over, so we're doing a little overtime here. This is uh, Crazy Allen's several tables. Paper, pens, uh, some luggage and baggage, all kinds of things here. All the paper you could want over here on this side. It's the call of the, of the crazy Alan. As you want a deal, I'll make a deal. <laughs> I'll let them dicker in peace. So find just racks on racks of pens. Tons of pen parts. These are like three or four tables of just, just parts pens. And here, here's Martin doing restorations back here in the back and sales. There we go. Uh, we've also got uh, Mike Masayama. There's a Kimberly in the corner there. There's a Tiffany. <laughs> Here's Miko. What is that? You had me with Franklin Kristoff? Very nice. <laughs> we also have Urso pens from Italy. Absolutely beautiful work. Look at these guys. They've been next to Audrey for the last couple of years. She really likes hanging out with these dudes. <laughs> Move this way. And then Audrey and Scott over here. We've gotten around to Franklin Kristoff. Well and hello. I owe some of the irises in my garden to you. Oh yeah, those are yours too. Oh, awesome! They weren't—they were just bulbs when I got them from her. Well, bulbs-ish. And uh, yeah, I had no idea what they're gonna look like. They're beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love getting plants in the mail. It's the best. Everybody, everybody here that right? loves getting iris bulbs in the mail. Yeah. Because so. they—they're easy to to mail and. Oh yeah. To Throw a little newspaper, you're good. Yeah. It's fine. Don't send weeds. Don't send you know Jeez. anything invasive. This, this is gonna send me uh, just uh, 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 crabgrass, uh, kudzu. I got, I got some. Uh, wisteria. That's. Don't don't send those things. 
Honeysuckle? Yeah. That at least smells good. It does. Yeah, so does whiskey. Yeah, yeah. We're not planning it at our house. No. Bamboo. You're going to plant some bamboo? Yeah. Yeah. At your place? No. Oh, your oh at my place? No, this is no good. Yeah, bamboo. My dad planted bamboo on purpose. <laughs> he lives in New Hampshire. It's not that invasive there. Uh, we have some, some more, some more pin people. What's up, y'all? We got Sandra, the cupcake girl. We got Sister T. Tiante here. We got Franklin again. Franklin's got a suspiciously large box. Suspiciously. Yeah. Suspicious. Let's see. Uh, how about y'all clear out of the way so I can see what's going on at this table here? Move it. You can't share. These people are online. It's fine. <laughs> Becky says, "Oh no, strangers." Jesse, tell us which ones we still need to buy for you. <laughs> so I haven't seen these yet. Oh snap! We got a uh, Italian ice uh, and blue O3 here. It looks like. Looks very nice. I haven't actually haven't actually seen any of this stuff yet. Where's Yas in the shirt? Uh, I don't know where Yas is. He was. Uh, he's around somewhere. I haven't really seen him. We actually, there are some Panther Forders. We got some, some Smoke Panthers here, Ghost and Smoke Panthers. I gotta get one of those. They're actually covering up the tables right now. But they have uh, lots and lots of these. Oh, look at those. They got our pin rests here too. Oh, fancy. Did y'all sell any? Well, all right, okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so we made some in Franklin Cristal colors. We thought they might like. Uh, there's David Figboot Parker there in the striped shirt on the right hand side. Hi, how are you doing? Well, thanks. Uh, we have Bittner's Isle of Pin here. Pins here. Very, he knows he's on camera. <laughs> All kinds of cool stuff. Oh, I already, already went way past Sandra. She's way back there. There we go. How's it going, Dudliff? Pretty good, eh, everybody? Mike, Independence. That's me. Let's dance. <laughs> and you're coming by at the end of the show. So Dude, long. I know. I had to fight with the internet. I had a whole thing with the hotel. It's been a... Are you live? Yeah. I mean, mostly. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. Intermittent spot tea. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's going to show us a thing. What do you have? Of course, we're going to show a thing or two. Amando Simone, Bittner, Mandarin Yellow. Oh, exclusive to y'all? Exclusive to us all. Has been a project for years in the making. This is the vintage original Mandarin material. Only enough material to make 50 pence. So we created 50 pence in the uh, rhodium trim with the magic flex snip and uh, 25 pieces in yellow gold yes. and uh, come on by check it out at the show or we have them online as well it's an incredible piece this is arguably the finest craftest pen of the the year for sure Armando Simone cult status yeah is that the, uh, the Omas uh, Mandarin material? No, this is the uh, original uh, Conway Stewart Mandarin material. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. The Omas material is more yellow. This is, has a little bit more yeah. like an orangey tone to it. I thought it. maybe it was just thicker, but yeah, yeah, it looks nice. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Thanks, Detlef. Yeah, Mike. I always enjoy talking to you when you come by. Thanks for giving us a spiel. We always appreciate that. Yeah. All See right. you, man. All right. Oh, we got some more STU DuPont making a, making a splash here. You see that as a boat pun? Yeah? All right. I'll stop. <laughs> Let's see. Look at these folks. Selling a Mont Blanc. Selling a Mont Blanc? Oh, fancy. Is that, is that this one right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at that beauty. Yep. That is cool. Real pretty. Look at the box it comes in. Yeah. The box is a book. It has some bears. <laughs> Got many that, bears. That blue, that blue, blue, blue was to be his name. Yeah. And that's the inside of it. Cool. 
cool. The fact that it has a poem of if on it is just fantastic. The poem is on the pen? They have part of it. If you can keep your head when everyone is losing theirs, and then you will be a man, my son. Neat. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's, cool. it's my mom's favorite poem. And that, I guess that, that it's the one I use, so <laughs> it's her favorite poem. I put it on, I put it in my homework for my thesis for college. <laughs> so that's why when I saw like all the details for this pen, like, Hopefully his mom doesn't watch this and uh, get the gift spoiled. We'll see how it goes. She probably won't watch this. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe so. You never know. She always finds good stuff on the Dolith table. Oh, look at this. We got a... Uh, this is very cool. We got a saxophone mouthpiece on a Delta. The Delta saxophone. Only 288. Wow. Wow. What you got here? Oh dang! Yeah, this is adorable desk set. Isn't that, pretty? that is pretty. That's a beautiful pen. Nice. Thanks. You're <laughs> hey. Oh yeah, let me come over here. So we have here. I was gonna come back up the aisle, but I got hailed. This is this is Richard, and if you want to see a table full of uh, beautiful and expensive things, man. These are Nakayas. Yeah. Uh, I had about. Probably sold six or seven today, but had uh, had quite a few more uh, dorsal fin ones and dorsal fin two. This is uh, very special. This is a dorsal fin one in Ao Tominori, so it is uh, discontinued shape and discontinued finish. Oh wow! Uh, which has drawn an awful lot of attention today. The dorsal fin is probably the most attractive of the Nokia's for me. Do you like the ones or the? Or the two, which is the sword shape. Yeah, so the dorsal fin two kind of has two fins. Uh, you know, I'm not that picky. I think they're both gorgeous. That and like the decapods, I think are really cool. They have a great this shape. Is the one. Yeah. I guess the the uh, inspiration for the one was a shark, and the inspiration for the two was a Japanese sword. And the uh, uh, let's see. <laughs> You're saying, oh yeah, that's the stuff. I've got people asking how much. I don't know, what does the dorsal fin one go for? Ballpark. Um, 1500. It's around 1500, which doesn't seem crazy. Uh, that dorsal fin is built up by layers and layers of lacquer, right? It is. A tremendous amount of handwork in it. Yeah. And you can see the, I mean, each of those is a very tiny layer of paint that eventually becomes a lump and becomes this beautiful shape. It's not just extra material or something like that. That's that's paint. This pen, uh, although is um, very hard to photograph, you'll notice it's got a, a, a pattern, a bamboo pattern on it. Yep. This is called sumiko, which is a charcoal powder mixed with uh, urushi. And this pattern is not carved. It's built up with layers of powder. Really? And this was uh, a limited edition of 15. Well, well long ago. Uh, and the Sumiko, if, well, you don't have a, a, a hand free, but the finish feels just superb in your hand. So this is a very special pen. Yeah. Actually, with the lighting, you can see the pattern on camera, so that's pretty good. I mean, the internet's pretty terrible in here, but uh, hopefully they can see the pattern. We'll see how it goes. And you see it's got uh, the kanji above the number uh, is the name, bamboo wood. Mm -hmm. The uh, number is 06 out of 15, and the Kanji below the number is the artist's signature. Cool. So when John Modishaw on nibs.com, this was uh, this was the first special commission that they did with Nakia after Nakia was formed. So it's, it's quite an older pen. Wow. And despite nice. that, I have it priced below what it sold for new. That seems unwise, but I mean. It might have your name on it, right? Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, I'll, I'll come back. <laughs> So, here, one of my friends came up to me and said, hey, look at this uh, beautiful thing I got. It was a decapod. Uh -huh. I was like, uh, I know where you got that. <laughs> and uh, it's gorgeous. Uh, I sold go. two decapods here today. Mm -hmm. One to apparently your friend. Uh-huh. And the other uh, to somebody else. Yep. The other yep. was a token, which is an unusual thing. Ah. Is there a... Uh, Pilot Custom Arushis, uh, the Miki Emperors. LB5, LB6. Mm-hmm. 
which are really interesting materials as well. If you haven't seen one of these LBs in person, that material is very cool. So many layers in this thing. It's not just a swirly thing, it's layers. Gorgeous pens. Oh, also, does a great job on these. yeah, Andy does a great job on those. They have a They're set gorgeous. Of in each color. A set in each color? No, nice. not a set. Oh. One of each color. Okay. A set of one in each color. It's like maybe every nib size in each color. <laughs> I wish. I have one with a cross point nib. Oh, right. Nice. Cross and points. Or nib. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> we have a lurking fig boot over here. Right there. <laughs> this is an unusual piece. Yeah. This is a um, desk set that was made by Sailor to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Toyo Kogyo, which is the predecessor company to Mazda, which is why I put the little sign that says, Attention Mazda Collectors. Yeah. And uh, it's got the original card with it. It's signed on the bottom. And um, apparently it was a special gift for, I assume, executives of Toyo Kogyo. Uh, the company probably had it made for some group of senior executives back on their 50th anniversary. Yeah. Right on. Uh, do you have a website you sell these through or just uh, at shows in person? I don't have a website. I only do two or three shows a year, but my email is likenewpens at gmail.com. And if anybody sees something they like or wants to ask about Nakayas, they're welcome to drop me an email. There you go. All right, folks. Write that down. Talk here to Richard and, uh, I don't know, buy some Nokias from this guy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Uh, hi from Russia. All right. Does he have a website? So, yeah, not quite. He's really kind of selling his stuff. Here we have Chet. What do you got here, Chet? Some pens for sale, some samples, and some sample uh -huh. pens for people to look at. Yeah. Lots of diamond cast. Lots of colors. Yeah. The, uh, the Hippo Noto the hippo uh, note, yes. pen. You can yeah. see that pink from the moon. Yep. It's quite the combination with the pink and teal. <laughs> These blanks make extra cool pens, I think. Uh, yeah, here's one. Yeah, right there. That's pretty cool. You want to tell people how you make that stuff? Do we have a long time? No. Elevator pitch. It's uh, it's small ribbons of paper that are dyed, and then embedded into a, a blank, like this. See, that didn't take long. Look at you. He can do it. He's so proud of himself. Look at that face. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Thanks, Chet. <laughs> Pretty much everything else down here is closed up. There's a Franklin Christoph guy leaving. We have Les from Stylus Suite. There goes a Mandy. There goes the Danae. I think Christoph is coming past me. If you want to sit down and play with pens, come over here and talk to Les at Style of Sweet. He's got all kinds of cool stuff here, all sorts of flex and semi-flex, and uh, who knows what else he's got in this tray. This guy is, uh, yeah, and he will tell you all about this and teach you how to, I don't know, write more good. Uh, he will use those on you if you are bad. <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs> and uh, there we go. So that's, that is, real briefly, Real briefly, the show. Um, it is a pretty big show. Oh, shoot, there's the outside hallway. I'm going to have to do a whole separate thing for the outside hallway because it's kind of shutting down and we're getting, uh, like, you know, the stink eye. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it here. I will, uh, I will get some Masubi tomorrow. Uh, I'll hit Tasha and Greenwald and all those folks tomorrow, um, and I'll post that as soon as I'm able. So I should get a custom Urushi. Uh, I agree, but holy crap, those are expensive. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to get one right now. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to sign off. Also, my phone is about to be dead. So, um, I will see y'all later. Thanks for hanging in with me. I hope the uh, video wasn't terrible quality, but kind of as good as it's going to get right now. So, anyway, thank you very much, and I'll see y'all later. Peace out.